it's time for Mass with Mr. Thomas. Hello, brother. Chapter 6, lesson number 5, Arithmetic Sequences. Woo! So, what is an arithmetic sequence? Well, if you imagine the sequence 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, dot, 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 we can see that the first number is 1. First term is 1. And the terms increase by 2 each time. If the sequence is like this, where we add or subtract the same number each time, it is known as an, dun, 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 an arithmetic sequence. Woo! In the above sequence, the first term, we call the first term, a equals 1. And there is what is known as a common difference, and that is written as d equals, and there's a difference of 2. The terms are increasing by 2 each time. Let's look at the following sequences. So for these, well here, what is a going to be? a is your first term. Well, the first term is 2, so a equals 2. And d equals, what is d? d is the common difference. Well, because it's going up in 2s, d is also going to be for this sequence here, A is going to be 3. Perfect, because it starts with 3. That's the first term. And D is going to be, what's it going up in every single time? 8. Brilliant. So D is going to be 8. Here with this one, 1, 1 and a half, 2, 2 and a half, 3, and so on, A is going to be 1. Brilliant. And D, the common difference, is going to be a half. Brilliant. You're so good at this. Next one, you've got 8, 4, 0, negative 4. A is going to be? Good. A is going to be 8. And D, the common difference, is going to be? Brilliant. It's going to be negative 4. Woo! If D is less than 0, here D is negative 4. If it's a negative, then it means the terms in the sequence are decreasing. And you can see that here. You're going down the way. Really, the general arithmetic sequence has a first term A and a common difference D. If you know both of them, though, if you know A and D, you can work out a term in the sequence. You can work out the nth term, and that is written as UN. This general formula is used to find particular terms in an arithmetic sequence, and that is UN equals A plus N minus 1D. Let's try some examples then. So example one, find the 25th term of the arithmetic sequence, two, six, 10, 14, and so on. For any of these questions, what I like to start doing is writing down what I know. So if you know the first term, if you know A, write that down. If you know the common difference, if you know D, write that down. If you know the nth term, if you're given that, write down N. So for this one, well, we know that A a is the first term, and that is going to be good. That's just 2. D, the common difference. What are we going up in? Well, we're going up in 4, so D is just going to be 4. Brilliant. And N, what is the nth term? Which number, uh, which term is this? What's well, the 25th term? So N is 25. So here, you can say then, well, our formula is UN equals A plus N minus 1D. So we're wanting the 25th term, so we want U25. That is equal to A, well A is 2, so it's going to be 2 plus, and N minus 1D, well N is 25, so it's 25, take away 1, which you could just write down as 24, multiplied by D, which is 4. If you start to work that out, that's equal to 2 plus, and that's 24 times 4. Work that out in the calculator, and you end up getting dun, 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 98. Woo! And that's your answer. Example 2, find the formula for the nth term, un, of the arithmetic sequence 1, 4, 7, 10, and so on. Once again, I like to answer these questions by writing down what I know. So if I know the first term, write down a. If I know the common difference, write d. If I know the nth term, know which term it is, write down what n is. For this one here, well, a is easy enough. We know the first term is just 1. Brilliant. So you can write that down. Common difference. What are we going up in every time? Brilliant. We're adding on 3 every time. So it is an arithmetic sequence. We're adding on the same thing every time. And n, well, we don't know what that is. What we want is a formula for the nth term. That is given by this formula just at the top. So that is what we're starting with. And we want to replace a with 1 and d with 3. So doing that, we get 1 plus n minus 1 times 3. 
Don't just leave it as that, multiply out the brackets so we get one plus. We're doing three times n, which is three n, and then we're taking away this three times one. Simplify that and you get three n, and you've got a one, you take away three, so you've got a negative two. So the formula for the nth term is un equals three n take away two. Yeah. Example three, find the, th the third term, not find the third term, just the third term of an arithmetic sequence is 40, and the fifth term is 30. A, find the first term and the common difference, and B, find the 15th term of the sequence. So once again, just start writing down what you know. If you know the first time, write it down. If you know the common difference, write it down. If you know the nth term, write it down. So, first of all, well, we're told that the third term is 40. So we know then that u3 is equal to 40. And we're also told the fifth term is 30. So we know u5 is equal to 30. What we want to do, first of all, is find the first term and the common difference. So to do this, we'll just start thinking about this formula here. un equals a plus n minus 1d. So if we're starting off with that, well, we know that u3 is equal to, and that is going to be equal to a, we don't know what a is, it's going to be a plus n minus 1. But because it's u3, n is going to be 3. So it'll be 3 take away 1 times d. But we know that the third term is 40, so we know that is equal to 40. From there then, well we can say that three take away one is two, so that gives us two d. So we'd have a plus two d equals 40. Yeah. We can also do the same thing with the fifth term. We know the fifth term is 30. So using once again un equals a plus n minus one d, we have u5 equals and that is going to be a plus n minus 1. But here, because it's u5, n is going to be 5. So it'll be 5 take away 1 times whatever d is. But once again, we know that is equal to 30. u5 is equal to 30. So we can say here it equals 30. Simplify that. 5 take away 1 is obviously 4. So we'd have a plus 4d. And that equals 30. How would we solve those equations in order to find out a and d? What would you use? Perfect. Use your knowledge of simultaneous equations. So let's go over the page and do that. These are the two equations, a plus 4d equals 30 and a plus 2d equals 40. To solve them, well, you've got the same number of a's, so we could just subtract one equation from the other. If you do that, well, you'd have 4d take away 2d, which is 2d, and 30 take away 40 is negative 10. Divide both sides by two and d would equal negative five. So we have found the common difference. To find a, well, you know with simultaneous equations, once you find one value, you can sub that into one of the equations to find the other. So let's sub neg to 5 into, I'm going to sub that into a plus 2d equals 40. Replace d with neg to 5, and that will give us a plus 2 times neg to 5, which is negative 10, so it's a take away 10 equals 40, meaning then that a is 50. So you can finish that off and say that the first term is 50, and the common difference d is negative five. Woo! Part B, find the 15th term of the sequence. So to do that, to find a certain term of an arithmetic sequence, you use the formula un equals a plus n minus one d. So because we want the 15th term, we know that's going to be u15. That is equal to, well, because we know a, and because we know d, we can replace them. Also, because we know it's the 15th term, we know n is equal to 15. So replace a with 50, replace d with negative 5, and replace n with 15. If you work that out, well, 15 take away 1 is 14, so that's 50 plus 14 times negative 5, which becomes 50 take away 70, which is negative 20. So that is what the 15th term will be. Yeah. Example four in an arithmetic sequence beginning 2, 8, 14, 20, which is the first term to exceed 100. Once again, with any of these questions for arithmetic sequences, write down what you know. First of all, if you know the first term, write it down. The common difference, the nth term, just write them down. Here, we know what A is. That's the first term. The first term we can see is 2. Woo! We also know there is a difference of 6 between the terms. We're adding on 6 every time, so D is going to be 6. 
The nth term, we don't know what that is. We are wanting to find it. We want to find the term that's the first one to exceed 100. So we can't write down n. To do this, well, the first thing we need to do is we need to find out a formula for the nth term. So to do that, we're starting with un equals a plus n minus 1d, and we can replace a with 2, and we can replace d with 6. That gives us a formula for the nth term of 2 plus, that 6 times n is 6n, and then take away 6, which simplifies to 6n take away 4. So that is a formula for the nth term. We want to find the first term, though, to exceed 100. So to do this, don't set it bigger than 100, set it equal to 100. If you do that, it gets rid of less than, or it gets rid of greater than, it's far easier to solve. And the way it works is, well, if we do that, we've got 6n take away 4 would equal 100. If you add 4 to both sides, and then divide both sides by 6, it gives you n equals 17 and 1 third. So you know the first term to exceed 100, well the 17th and a third term, which doesn't really make any sense, will be equal to 100. So the first term that will be over 100, well the next term after the 17 point something will be the 18th term. So you can say then that the 18th term is the first one to exceed 100, it's the first one to be over. Yeah! Try some of these questions in the Unit 2 booklet, pages 20 and 21. Check your answers as you go. If you have any problems, let me know or rewatch the video. Best of luck, have fun, enjoy, bye! Yeah.